Welcome back to the Gamma Trade Show 2017. I'm Eric Summerer. This is Evan from Asmodee North America. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Vegas. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, so first thing we want to take a look at today is Rune Wars, the miniatures game. Yes. Tell us about this thing. So this is uh, a very small portion of Rune Wars miniatures game. This is by no means everything that you get in the box. How much? How many figurines? There are, are forty-eight figures. Forty-eight figures in yes. here. Okay. Yes. They they come unpainted and unassembled like a standard miniatures game, but they're okay. they're very easy to assemble. Um, and then obviously these ones have been painted. Uh, so it is a rank and file miniatures game, meaning that the figures are in these kind of ranks, right? They're not all a bunch of individual figures having right. kind of a skirmish in a forest. This is war on a grand scale. Okay. You know, you are commanding uh, in a full game potentially dozens of figures uh, attempting to, to destroy your opponent. And these bases interlock. They're like puzzle yes. pieces, so now you're, yes. you're moving that whole thing as a chunk. Yes, so the the way that uh, movement works, we took a lot of cues from uh, X-Wing, which you may be familiar with. Yeah. So uh, every figure, or every unit rather, has one of these command tools, right? It has two dials. Uh, the left one is the action dial, which kind of determines the main thing this unit is going to do. Okay. The one on the right is the modifier dial, which is a, a way of kind of altering that movement or, or your action in some way. So for instance, I might want these figures, here I'll use their actual command tool, <laughs> I might want these figures to move forwards, so I select the, the march to okay. speed forwards. Um, and then on their turn, this will be revealed. Similar to X-Wing, we grab this little movement template. You li simply line it up with the front of the figure. Move the figure along it like that. Okay. So that's that's just how movement works. There's no there's no measuring. There's no obsessively for every figure. I'm going to measure out the right. inches. You know, it's very fast. It's very fluid. In a lot of ways, we kind of took the things that make miniatures games fun and cut out the things that made miniatures games unfun. Okay. So. As you can see, this is uh, set in the realm of Terranoth, which we've had several other games, most notably uh, Descent, Journeys in the Dark, mm -hmm. is set in the same universe. So right out of the box, there are two factions warring. There are the Dakon Lords, which are the, these, these human spearmen. They have like a, this rune golem, he, mm -hmm. he's their hero. Uh, they are fighting against the undead forces of Wykar the Undying. So it's kind of this, this timeless struggle between the, the humans and the undead. There are only two factions in the core box, but more factions are coming. Uh, in, along the pipeline. I like how the, the heroes are on a mountain, so oh, you yes. know that they're important. Yes, and you can actually, there are certain upgrade cards that, for instance, you could field that hero in the midst of this group of spearmen. Uh, so she could be fighting in rank with them. Okay. I'm just turning these so that the camera oh, yeah. can see them a little bit better. Yes. Um, they're you know very highly detailed, but they, they come yes. unpainted. The they flocking do. is something you added as well? For yes, the, yes. Okay. And, and we took a lot of... Uh, we made a lot of efforts as we were sculpting these figures to make them easy to paint. If mm -hmm. you notice, like this rune golem has a very kind of chiseled surface. You know, lots of these like kind of broader, flat areas that lend themselves well to painting. You know, with uh, with highlights. We want to be very conscious that you know, obviously, we want miniatures gamers to to play this game, but we right. also want it to be equally accessible to board gamers. Almost an intro someone, level of exactly, miniatures game. Exactly. You know, someone who has never played a miniatures game before can easily learn Rune Wars, whereas someone who, you know, miniatures games are their bread and butter, there's still enough tactical depth and strategy um, that they can find plenty to enjoy here as well. What does combat resolution look like? I see a whole bunch of dice with lots of crazy symbols yes, on them. Yes, yes, there are custom dice. So, for the way that uh, melee combat works, so let's say, you know, we have our carry-on lancer here and these spearmen are about to charge into battle. Once they hit, they're actually going to do something called squaring up where they rotate to share a face and then they move along so that they're tray to tray. Ooh. So that they just they just kind of lock into melee combat like okay. that. Every card has, here we'll grab the spearman card. Every card has an attack profile down here at the bottom showing the dice that are rolled. So in this case, you roll the red and blue dice. So you'll, you'll receive some number of symbols that can allow you to trigger special abilities, to do damage, to uh, inflict panic on the enemy figure. Okay. 
your, the size and shape of your unit also has an effect. The wider that your unit is, the more damage each of these damage results will do. Because you're all focusing on one exactly. thing. Exactly. The deeper your unit is, the more you'll, be, the, you'll have chances to re-roll your dice. Hmm. Right? So it, it really taps into that rank and file miniatures aspect of like you want to have these big blocks of troops right. that you're pushing across the battlefield because they are better in many ways than, for instance, just a single tray okay. of these guys. Is there terrain in the box? There is. There is terrain. Uh, it's flat punch board terrain. Okay. Um, but the terrain rules are very elegant, very easy for you to use your existing terrain. Um, hmm. So you know you could just you could take your your forest of trees or your your mountain or your river right. or what what have you and very very easily incorporate it into Rune Wars. Again, appealing to hobbyists who are already into minis games. Exactly. But also exactly. here's here's your if you cardboard trees. Exactly. If you, if you don't want to you know <laughs> painstakingly make these trees, right. you can just use the, our cardboard punch out. How soon will we see Rune Wars? It is coming very soon. It is going to be uh, early April, April thirteenth, I believe. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Excellent. Now, there's another game that you brought that yes. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm going yes. to gently Let's shepherd these these guys, these fine gentlemen Let's and ladies that. over here, uh, because um, one of the big movements right now is escape room games. That is true. And uh, there there have been several on the market, in, including another one. Uh, Time stories yes. that, that are, are plays that way, but this is a new one. Yes. That uh, that Space Cowboys has come up with, and I don't know yes. how you want to how to uh, present these. Uh, I can present it here. The easiest Ooh, way. He's opening the box. Yes. One of the very I first I English think. language. So this is called Unlock. Yes. Uh, and there are three decks of this right now. Yes. Or, or soon. Yes, there are three adventures that are they're all coming out simultaneously. They're coming out in April. Uh, so this is one of them. This is the formula. Okay. Um, each of them, so you have your rules, and you have your deck of cards. Yes. Right? So in this deck of cards, I'm going to show you the little 10-card tutorial okay. that kind of uh, allows you to learn the rules without spoiling the adventure. Excellent. So we have this tutorial. Here is the main adventure, yeah, the formula. I don't want yep, to see don't, that don't yet. Shield your eyes. Yeah. We'll, we'll hide that away in here. So the, the thing that we need to do before we play Unlog is we need to fire up the app. Ah. Because this is a game that uses a free companion app, um, which is available now on uh, the iOS or, or for Android. Okay. And basically, this app serves a variety of functions. It is a timer. Multi-language. Right. Yes, uh, we are playing the tutorial. So it, it serves as a timer, but it also Let's offers... Just move this up here a little bit. Yep. It can also offer you hints. It can help you find hidden objects. It can, uh, you, will, you might need to punch codes hmm. into the tutorial. So we can go ahead and start. So the way that this works, we start by flipping this over. So we're yep. trapped in this office, right? You can see that there are a number of numbers here on the card. Yep. Those are all correspond to cards in this deck, and okay. those are numbers that we can go and get right now. You can go search for them. Right, so for instance, there's 21. That looks like our door. So this is the exit door controlled by a digital code. To all get right. out, we're going to need to punch a code into the app. Okay. There's card 35. We have a cabinet, a locked cabinet up here. 67 on the wall. This is some kind of machine, a grid with pins five centimeters apart, some black numbers. We're not oh really boy. sure what we're doing with that yet. We have card 11, a key, and card 42, which is a screen. There's no electricity. So kind of the fundamental rule of unlock is you're going to be combining red things with blue things. And okay. I see you've got puzzle pieces. They yes. sort of fit together. Exactly. Okay. And so those will give you a number if you combine those two numbers. So for instance, this screen and this key, that gives us the number 53. Well, maybe right. the, oh, is there, there, there is, there no, is 53 no 53, because obviously this key does not go with Does not turn screen. on a television set. Exactly. Uh, but it might open a locked cabinet. Exactly. So is this sort of a free form? Are we taking turns? We're just all trying it, to figure this out. It is once. completely free form, co totally cooperative. So you, you and I, you know, we're as we're having these ideas, we'll, we'll shout them out, we'll point things out. There are no turns. I mean, really, we, we have limited Time. Have, so, so, so this key could open the cabinet, so 11 plus 35 is 46. That's correct. And, and there, there's is, a, there is a 46 card. So we reveal that up at the top here, it's got the little 11 and 35 showing that we remove those cards. You remove those, those cards. cards. Right. We've now 
So now oh we boy. have an open cabinet, and you might be able to notice something inside the cabinet there. Uh, it looks like the number 16. That is the number 16. So inside the cabinet, we find a 10 centimeter long electrical wire that ends in the form of rings. Well, it looks like we can do stuff to that. Exactly. So the question is, you know, which of these pins do we connect, right? Because we're going to be adding 16 to some combination of these numbers. That will be the red number that we get. Right. But we need to know what to combine from this. So there's a hint also on the cabinet you can see here. Over there, oh, there's it... a little hint to how perhaps the uh, the wire should go. Okay. So if we put the wire in that formation, it's the plus three and the plus six, so nine, uh, added to 16, 25. which is 25. We reveal this, it says, well done, you've restored the electricity to the building. So these cards all we go away. We discard all those cards. And now we have a blue number, this plus six. And the blue number can get added to the television set. Yep, for 48. Which There's is our final card. And that gets us a code. The screen is on, and that should help us get out. And you so, enter the code into yep. the application. So exactly. now we're back here, yep. and we say code. Yes. And do I want to enter a code? Oh, I'll lose three minutes if we're wrong. Yes. But I think we're right. Yes. And we enter the code, and two, three, nine, and say OK. So the correct numbers. Oh, no. So. So now There's we look something. at this exit sign, yep. and we lost three minutes, but I think we were supposed to lose three minutes. Right. So now we have to enter them in the correct order. Yes. Nine is the red correct. number, the yellow number is three, the blue number is seven, yes. and the green number is two, and we say OK, and the music stopped, which yes. means we win. Exactly. So that's just the tutorial for Unlock. That is the simplest possible experience. I want to play more. Yeah, that's that's the reaction that we get a lot. These games are so much fun. And it plays Mars Bringer of War? Uh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why not? <laughs> Classical music geek too. Okay, so I'm I'm super happy. This is cool. All right, now my question is. Yes. We how can, do I we turn, turn this off? off? Okay, my question is. It's going to keep doing that. Okay. <laughs> when can we get these decks? Very soon. It's coming out in April. Okay. So all three of the adventures are going to be releasing simultaneously, and then there will be more unlock this year. That we are not going to say more about right now. Okay. But there will be more. I am very excited. Yes. Evan, thank you very much. Thank you. I, I can't wait to play some more. And, uh, and thanks for joining us. Perfect. Thank you for watching. Thanks. <laughs>